uh, instructional technology chapter 2 presentation on communication networks and the internet so communication networks and the internet and the world wide web communication sometimes called telecommunications a process in which two or more computers or device transfer data instructions and information communication networks a communication network is a collection of computers and other equipment organized to share data information hardware and software basic communication systems consist of two equipment of the following equipment two computers one to send and receive data communication devices that send and receive data a communication channel which data is sent the basic model also includes communication software programs that uh, manage the transmission of data between the computers. A communication channel is the path that data flows as the data transmitted from the sending equipment to the receiving equipment. Communication channels are made up of transmission media, which are the physical materials or other means used to establish a communication channel. The most widely used transmission medium is the twisted pair cable or other example of transmission media include coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, microwave transmission, communication satellites and wireless tech transmission. <coughs> so communication networks, this is Digital signals are individual electrical pulses that a computer uses to represent data. Telephone equipment originally was designed to carry only voice transmission, which comprises a continuous electrical wave called analog signal. Four telephone lines to carry data, a communication device called a modem, converts digital signals into analog signals. Computers are both the sending and receiving ends of this communication channel must have a modem for data transmission to occur. A number of different kinds of modems are in use today. <coughs> Okay, communication networks. Many computers purchased for home use include dial-up modem that can transmit data at rates of approximately 56,000 bits per second, a 56k modem, which hardly anyone uses now, but obviously we're learning it. Um, a dial-up modem is a communication device that can convert digital signals to analog signals and analog signals to digital signals so that can travel along a telephone line. One end of the standard phone cords touches to the port on the modem card and the other end to the telephone out there. Today many homes and small businesses are using cable modems and DSLs also called digital modems. <coughs> Um, a communication device is any type of hardware capable of transmitting data, instruction and information between devices. So a communication device is any type of hardware capable of transmitting data. Examples are dial-up modems, ISDN, DSL modems, network interface cards. So this basically goes through each one. I'm not going to go in detail about it to read it yourself. Dial-up modem, ISDN and DSL modem, cable modem, network interface cards. So communication channel. Communication channel is the path that data follows. Transmission media, listed below. Okay, so communication channel, digital versus analog. 
digital individual electric pulses, analog continuous electrical pulses, modem converses signals modulating demodulator signal. Okay, so communication technology applications. You have voicemail, Twitter, email, instant messaging, chat rooms, news groups, telephony, video conferences, collaboration, group wear, GPS. So these are communication technology applications. Communication network. A communication network is a collection of computers and devices connected together used to transfer information or files, share resources, etc. What is the largest network? Obviously, it's the internet. So, networks are char characterized based on their geographical coverage, speed, capacities, network coverage, LAN and WAN. Network coverage. Local area network LAN. LAN is a communication network that covers a limited geographical area such as a school, office building or group buildings. LAN consists of a number of computers connected to a central computer or server. So when you imagine a LAN, imagine LIN University, all the computers in the lab are connected to a LAN. So wide area network. WAN covers a large geographical region such as a city or a school district and uses regular telephone wires, digital, cable, microwave, wireless systems, satellites or other combination of communication channels. A WAN consists of numerous LANs organized into a larger network. So when I think of WAN, I think of LIN University, LIN campus and LIN University Abu Dhabi campus. So they both have LANs in these two campuses. So they're connected to each other will make a wide area network. So LAN, local area network, is a group of computers connected within a building or campus. Example, LAN may consist of computers located on a single floor or a building or my link to all computers in a school. WAN. A WAN is a network consisting of computer of consisting of computer of LANs connected across a distance. WAN can cover small to large distances using different topologies such as a telephone line, fiber optic cables, satellite transmission and microwave transmissions. <coughs> so network, the classroom, school and district. So here you can see an example. Networking, the classroom, school and district. Uh, wireless schools and classrooms. So now working in the classroom and school district. Wireless schools and classrooms. You keep in touch with family and friends from anywhere. Wireless technology brings the computer lab to the student. Okay, the benefits of computer networks in education. So the benefits trying to like make this sweet is Administrators, teachers and students can share computer hardware, software, data resources available throughout the school district. You can access the ultimate unlimited educational resources available on the internet. Um, communication with other educators and students all over the world instantly. So what is the internet? The internet is the world's largest network. <coughs> internet is a worldwide group of connected networks that allow public access to information and services. No single organization owns or controls the internet. Each organization on the internet is responsible for only maintaining its own network. Today there is 1 billion users around the world connect to the internet for a variety of reasons. <coughs> The world's largest network is the internet, which is a worldwide collection of networks that link together millions of businesses, governments, education institutions and individuals. The history of the internet. 
The internet has its roots in the networking project of the U.S. Department of Defense Advanced Research Project Agency called ARPA. ARPA's goal was to build a network that would allow scientists at different locations to share information and collaborate on military and scientific projects and could function even if part of the network was disabled or destroyed by disaster such as nuclear war. That network called ARPANET became functional in 1969, September 1969, effectively linking together scientific and academic researchers in the United States. History of the Internet The original ARPANET was a worldwide network consisting of four main computers located at the University of California um, at Los Angeles, the, Stan, uh, the Stanford Research Institute, the University of California of Santa Barbara, and the University of Utah. Each of these four computers served as the network's host. A host is the main computer in a network of computers connected by communication links. A host often stores the transfer data and messages on the high-speed communication lines and provides network connections for additional computers. <coughs> okay, the history of the internet continued. Uh, to take further advantage of the high-speed communications offered by ARPANET, organizations decided to connect the entire networks to ARPANET. In 1986, for example, the national uh, the National Science Foundation, NSF, connected a huge network of five supercomputer centers called NFSNet to ARPANET. The configuration of complex networks and hosts became known as the Internet. Today, a variety of corporations, commercial firms and other companies operate the backbone network and provide access to the Internet. How the Internet works when a computer sends data over the internet, data is divided into packets. The router sends the packets across the internet, packet switching, breaking the individual packets to the best route of transmission. Transmission protocol, internet protocol, TCP IP, is a communication protocol used by the internet and thereby defines packet switching. So how the internet works, I think it's quite a good example that this is my computer and then step one is divided into small packets called pieces. Step two, packets travel over the internet. So obviously this is going to find the best route. So if it could take this way and that way, that way, that's the shortest route. Or it would choose to go this way, this way. So, but that it does it for you. It divides the packets and finds the best routes. So at step three, um, at the destination, the packets are reassembled into original message. <coughs> so connecting to the internet. You have dial-up services, high-speed, broadband internet connections, cable TV, digital DSL line, satellite modem. <coughs> okay, internet addresses. Uh, the internet relies on an addressing system much like that of a postal system to send data to a computer at a specific destination. So numeric address computer's location on the internet. This was on our quiz, so this might come up again on the exam. So, pay attention. Numeric address, computer's location on the internet consisting of, um, consisting of now um, numeric address, computer's location on the internet consisting of four groups. Domain name, the text version of a computer address called a domain name. So domain type, country code. So every website address has an IP address. Every IP address more likely has a domain name. They are interlinked. They are one in the same. So you could technically find an IP address of a website and go to it. <coughs>